Um, hello, everybody. My name is Miranda Maricofamba, and today I will be sharing with you my practicum experience and culminating project. First, I would like to thank my supervisors, uh, professors, fellow students, and my family for their support throughout this experience. I am blessed to have such a strong support system. I would like to open with a territory acknowledgement. I am honored to live, work, and play in the Treaty 7 area of what is now known as Calgary, Alberta. The traditional territories of the Blackfoot Confederacy, which includes the Siksika, Gainai, and Pekani Nations, as well as the Sutina and Stony Nakoda Nations. It is also home to the Métis Nation of Alberta. I recognize and respect the deep connection of Indigenous peoples to the land, water, and resources of this region. I do share a positionality, positionality statement in my written report, but due to time constraints, I have not incorporated it here. However, I still wish to acknowledge that as a non-Indigenous person, I do not share the lived experiences, cultural perspectives, or historical contexts of Indigenous peoples. I also cannot speak to Indigenous knowledges, ways of knowing, or perspectives. However, as a recent settler, I am committed to leveraging my privileges for allyship and advocacy practices that prioritize the voices, needs, and priorities of Indigenous communities. I had the pleasure of completing my practicum with Screen Test, an Alberta breast cancer screening program. The primary purpose of screen test mobile clinics is to reach underserved communities and zones and to bridge existing gaps in cancer screening. The target populations identified and served by screen test mobile program are rural, remote and indigenous communities in which fixed screening facilities do not exist. The indigenous community sites include First Nation reserves and uh, Métis settlements in Alberta. The purpose of my project was to assess the accessibility of breast cancer screening services for on-reserve First Nations communities in Alberta in a comprehensive manner. This research topic was a means to integrate the experiences and knowledge acquired in my work placement and the public health concepts which were explored in my courses by exploring a specific public health issue from an Indigenous health lens. For a fulsome picture of this public health issue, some background is beneficial, and I'll spend some time on that. Canadian breast cancer statistics have revealed that breast cancer health outcomes are not evenly distributed. Specifically, there are differences among those living in rural versus urban areas. Indigenous peoples show rapidly increasing incidence of cancer and experience poorer cancer-related health outcomes than non-Indigenous Canadians. Disparities also exist in breast cancer screening participation between Indigenous populations and non-Indigenous populations. Breast cancer screening rates are particularly low among on-reserve First Nations populations. These findings highlight the growing health inequities and disparities experienced by Indigenous peoples in Canada. Collectively, these findings suggest that access to and provision of screening services for First Nations communities may not be equitable and may contribute to increased burden of breast cancer in First Nations communities. Organized breast cancer screening began in Canada in 1988. These programs fall under provincial or territorial purview. Screening identifies a subset of the population eligible for additional testing to determine the presence or absence of a disease, enabling early intervention to improve health outcomes. Screening falls under the first pillar of the World Health Organization's Global Breast Cancer Initiative, which covers measures for health promotion and early detection. Structured screening programs are beneficial as they allow for population-based recruitment and recall of eligible individuals, coordinated follow-up, systematic quality assurance, and the ability to provide monitoring and evaluation of program performance.
Next, I will share the methods of my research and highlight some results. Screen test mobile units serve as the primary means of screening services for on-reserve First Nations communities in Alberta. For that reason, this was the primary focus of this research. Mobile screening units increase physical proximity to screening facilities. Therefore, the first objective was to assess the geographical distribution of screen test clinics across Alberta relative to First Nations communities by creating a map. Utilization of cancer screening services is dependent on availability and accessibility. So the second objective was to analyze utilization trends of screen test mobile units. This entailed a review of screen test statistical reports and previous research from this jurisdiction. The final goal was to determine potential population-specific barriers to screening participation by conducting a literature review. Mapping the geographical distribution of mobile screening sites revealed that there is an uneven distribution across the province. Screening sites are largely condensed in the central zone and sparse in northern Alberta. This is particularly concerning as the North Zone includes most of the 24 First Nations from Treaty 8, which make, up, which make up almost half of the First Nations in Alberta. The produced map also showed varying potential travel distances for on-reserve communities to the nearest screen test site, which is a key indicator of physical access. Utilization, or the number of people screened, has increased as the number of screen test mobile sites has increased. However, in comparing screening participation and retention rates for First Nations populations to non-First Nations populations, it was found that from 2013 to 2018, First Nations populations had lower screening participation and retention rates when standardized by age. Many potential barriers to screening participation were identified from the literature review. These were categorized into three levels as depicted in the uh, structure to the left of the screen. Structural barriers are embedded within political, historical, social, and economic structures. Some examples are jurisdictional incongruencies and the impact of colonialism on the social determinants of health for indigenous peoples. Systems level barriers stem from the structure of the healthcare system itself. Some examples are limited availability of healthcare providers, facilities, and services. Individual barriers exist at the individual patient or healthcare provider level. Some examples are communication barriers, means and resources to attend screening, and knowledge gaps. In looking at discrepancies in screening participation and retention rates between First Nations and non-First Nations communities, these barriers identified may be contributors to the observed trends as they impact accessibility of breast cancer screening services for First Nations communities. I would like to highlight some key takeaways from this project and my practical work experience. The first being that cancer screening is an essential point of intervention as timely cancer diagnosis directly impacts health outcomes. Poor access to screening services is a principal contributor to the cancer-related disparities seen among Indigenous peoples in Canada. Although mobile screening has made strides in improving access to screening for on-reserve communities, screening increasing geographic proximity through mobile mammography alone may not achieve the desired outcomes. Accessibility to breast cancer screening is a multidimensional construct influenced by both characteristics of mammography services and the population-specific barriers to screening participation. Above all, it is vital to acknowledge the historical contexts which have shaped the health of Indigenous peoples today. As organized cancer screening programs are embedded in the larger healthcare systems, challenges to participation will likely remain until larger systems and structural issues are addressed. Given the multiple levels of population-specific health barriers identified for on-reserve First Nations populations, there is a need for greater collaboration between healthcare providers, policymakers, and community members to improve accessibility of breast cancer screening programs for communities. 
Finally, I would just like to highlight some implications for public health practice of this work. Um, and those are supporting screening program development and delivery, uh, informing development of relevant policies, contributing to the existing body of research, and health promotion for the improvement of breast cancer related outcomes. Thank you for your time and engagement with my presentation. And I would be happy to take any comments or questions.